Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I'm going to show you my shady plans for game week two. But before we do that, let's see what happened in game week one and who's doing well in the Midnight Mule mini league. Top scorer for game week one and therefore top of our league is Lewis Philippe with the red 74 with 104 points. And that was managed with Captain Salah for 28, Saka on 12, Porro 9, Woods 9, Trent 8, Gabriel 6, Diego Jota 8, Isaac 5. And the bench boost for a further 13 points there. So well done. That was obviously a very good score. As for me, I'm down in 39th with 79 points. And my strategy this year is I want to try and get a fair bit of money by the end of game week 6. And then I'm going to try and play catch up. Because I've got more team value, I'm hoping I can outscore other people. And I thought a nice easy place to get points in game week one is to attack the newly promoted side. So I put nine players out against the newly promoted sides. So the first game was Ipswich against Liverpool. I had Trent, Luis Diaz and Diego Jota and they got 19 points between them. And then we had the Newcastle game against Southampton had high hopes for this. But Shah got sent off early on. So Newcastle were lucky to hold on and eventually win. So that was Gordon 3, Murphy 1 and Isaac 10. That could easily have been Gordon 7, Murphy 5, Isaac 10, but then doubled to 20. So that was very disappointing. So Newcastle got 14. And then on the Monday, we had Leicester against Spurs, which was Pedro Porro 9, but then Sun and Solanke only got 2. So that was 13 points. So my big idea with these nine players playing the newly promoted side, and I thought I might get a good score, they only got 46 points. And my other two players I played was Henderson 2, White, six so in total my first 11 got 54 and because I'm chasing money I thought I'm probably going to play a wild card in game week two so if I'm wild carding I may as well bench boost in game week one which is what I did I took a gamble with the Arsenal defense so Flecken four Saliba six Gabriel six Wood nine so my bench got 25 which is very good for a bench especially in a single game week but it had the disadvantage that in game week two, I've suddenly got an expensive bench and I can't easily move players about if I want to not wildcard and just do normal transfers. So if I do this again next year, and the idea of this year is to learn things so next year I can do it properly, I don't think I'm going to bench boost game week one next year. I'm going to put out 11 strong players, four cheap rubbish on the bench, and then wildcard game week two. But anyway, <laughs> we hopefully live and learn. So I got 79 points, paid my bench boost. So there I am. This screen makes more sense as the weeks go on because you see if I'm getting green or red. So on the live FPL site, you can see I'm currently 48 points behind top spot with 37 weeks left. If I can outscore top by two points a week, which should be doable, I can win the whole thing. There you go, sounds easy. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos and comments and likes, but most importantly, just watches. There's a, a website, FPL Game Week, and on there they have a Content Creators League. And if you look at that league, you'd see where you'd appear. So I like to show this every week. And what I'm trying to do is finish in the top third by the end of the season. This is just the top 10 on here. So currently top is Andy from FPL Tactician. A lot of you may know Raptor, seen him online perhaps. He's currently third. I have trouble with this guy's name. Celtap from FPL Optimize. I do like listening to his stuff. I've only started listening recently, to be fair. And Harry's down there in joint eighth. That's probably the lowest he's going to be all season. And I'm there in sixth, but of course, I've already used my bench boost. So my plan, as I've said, is I was thinking about wildcarding. I have actually pressed the wildcard button now. So I'm going to show you my team as it stands, but I'm chasing money. This is very fluid, and there's a high chance some of these players will be changing. But I have Harland currently is going to wear the old mule hat. And I'm hoping he goes up in value because I really want to have him in the squad. And then his makes of RDO and Edison. I'm aware most people won't have Edison, but it looks like there's a chance he's going to go up in value. So I need to get him. My vice captain is Diego Jota, keeping hold of Diaz. But if he's going to drop in value and he is going down, I'm going to have to sell him. And I've also got Trent. And I have tried a combination with swapping Diaz for Salah, but then things look slightly different of course so I'm trying to work out 
what the best combination is going to be for me. Then I got Robinson for Fulham at home to Leicester with his mate Munez. Mitama at home to Man United. He's very lowly owned, but if he keeps doing well, he will be going up in value. So that might be a keeper for quite a long time if he goes up. Eze at home to West Ham. I think he's going to be very good. And Havertz away to Villa. So of these, assuming there's no injuries, I'm likely to be keeping Haaland, Diego Jota, probably Eze and Mitama. Apart from that, any of the others could change because this is all about chasing the money at the moment. And then on my bench, I've got Pope. So I've got a 5 million keeper and a 5.5 million keeper, whereas some people have got a 4.5 and, and a 4. But both these keepers may well be going up in value. So that's why I've got them. Then I've got Smithrow, Missouri, and Bednarek. As for the background picture... It was the uh, FPL Fest in London on Friday and I was there. So thank you very much to everyone who came and said hello. And I took a chess set and several people had came to chess with me. So that was nice as well. So thank you. So there we have it. That's what happened in game week one and my plans for game week two. I may get a green arrow in game week two, but then game weeks three to six, I should be getting red arrows because I'm going to be taking hits because I'm chasing the money. <laughs> How many times can I say that in one video? All right, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fun game week too. Cheers, bye. <laughs>